Hi, I'm Will from Audio Spectre, and in this video I'm going to be introducing you to our newest product, the modular version of the PGV, the Parametric Guitar Vocoder. In fact, here I have two, but you only need one. The modular PGV has almost all of the same functions as the Stompbox version, with a few key differences, the most obvious being that it's Eurorack compatible. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the PGV's controls, inputs, and indicators, but check out our other videos to see some cover songs and content showcasing the PGV in action. First, we have the big volume knob right here. It controls the analog output amplifier. The maximum level will be about 7 volts, peak to peak, ready to feed other Eurorack modules from the single-ended out jack right here. The three-way pedal effect select switch, which you can find here, is used to select which of the special effects is being controlled by the expression pedal that you connect to this jack here. We're using this uh, M-Audio uh, expression pedal here for this demo. For the three control alternatives, there are also three knobs in the upper row of controls. Vibrato, VCF, and Spectrum Shift. The Spectrum Hold toggle switch, which you can find here, allows the freezing of a momentary spectrum or any vowel from the vocal microphone here when flipped on the on position. Just dial in the right settings with the noise gate knob. So let's put it on and we have the right controls here. So, ah. The transpose minus one octave switch here drops the measured guitar pitch down one octave. Vibrato. The first, first you have to flip the three-way switch to the vibrato position, like so. The knob here controls the frequency of the vibrato and the pedal controls its strength. However, as an added bonus, when the vibrato knob is at the minimum position, the expression pedal instead controls the upward pitch bend up to a maximum of a perfect fourth interval. So, without uh, pitch bend, and with pitch bend, VCF. This effect is a pseudo-voltage controlled filter that manipulates the vocal spectrum by attenuating bands that you control with the expression pedal or by using the corresponding knob. For the pilot signal, it instead controls the modulation sensitivity. The pilot signal is an additional synthetic output signal or sine wave that is generated corresponding to the note pitch frequencies of the guitar strings. More on that later. Spectrum shift. If the three-way switch is in the lowest position, like so, the connected expression pedal controls the vocal spectrum shape. Otherwise, the knob is used for the same control. This control compresses or expands the vocal spectrum, or timbre, making the vocoder sound like a giant speaker or baby speaker, like so. The noise gate or pilot gain knob has three functions here. One, the obvious, which is for suppressing the background noise level of the vocal microphone signal. It works from the counterclockwise to the middle position. Number two, it determines the capture threshold level for the spectrum hold function, which we have here. 
And from the center, number three, from the center location to full clockwise position, the knob controls the pilot signal volume, the sine wave, as we discussed earlier. You can also modulate the pilot signal and use it as an oscillator to feed other Eurorack modules. With the VCF knob here. The mic gain knob controls the volume of the vocal microphone signal together with the signal guitar signal amplitude. The threshold knob here controls the input level of the guitar signal. The user has to adjust it to an optimal position for their particular guitar. If set too low, there's a risk of getting unwanted signals for the note pitch analysis logic, and if too high, there's a risk of missing some notes, especially from the highest pitched strings. The center position is a good starting point for most. We found that using the neck position pickup, uh, a humbucker in our case, uh, offers the, has offered the best results. There are four 3.5 millimeter jack connections in the module, down here in the low, lower part. The guitar in and out are mono tip sleeve jacks while the pedal and microphone jacks here are uh, three contact tip ring sleeve jacks. Use only such an expression pedal that has the potentiometer slider output at the tip of the TRS plug. For example, in our case, also in the M Audio, uh, in this M Audio pedal, remember to switch it to the M Audio position. The dynamic vocal microphone input jack has the hot signals at the tip and ring contacts and a grounded sleeve. For a common XLR microphone connector, you need to use a proper XLR to TRS adapter. There are three LEDs on the PGB. The top one here, this green one, simply indicates that the module is on, which it currently is. The mic compressor LED here, however, is important. The PGV has a fixed compression threshold for the vocal mic signal. When the green mic compressor LED is on, like, there we go, uh, it doesn't mean that the signal is clipped or distorted, but rather that you've reached the optimal input level above which there is no amplitude increase. And here we also have the guitar compressor LED. It shows when the total signal reaches the final output compression level. And when I say total, uh, it can be a maximum of six replicated vocal signals, as there are six strings. Uh, and the sing player singer needs to adjust the mic gain here so that the output dynamic range is satisfactory. Again, green light does not mean that the signal is distorted, but if it is on all the time, the compression reduces the instrument's dynamic range because the volume may stay constant from when one or all strings are played. The compressors generally make sure that no output signal clipping occurs. However, there are multiple complex signals, so if any of the LEDs turn red, the player should lower the mic gain knob here, just in case. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour around the PGV's controls and indicators. Again, check out our other videos for more musical demos, and please don't hesitate to contact us via email or visit us at www.audiospectre.com. You can find the contact info and links in the description of this video. Thank you very much.